Reef Ben lads and lasses, how we're doing and welcome back to the channel. Today is a very sort of, I wouldn't say different video, but it's not a sort of news. It's actually because of Murdad Gudusi. Yes, Murdad Gudusi, one of our owners of Newcastle United, made a comment on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, which it's very fair to say that it left a few Newcastle United fans very, very angry, disappointed in the fact that Murdad Gudusi was being a bit hypocritical. I'm going to give you my view on the comment itself. And of course, he was kind of having a go at the atmosphere. Now, in my opinion, it was just the wrong timing of it. One of my friends says that, and I completely agree from the timing of the comment was absolutely wrong. The actual atmosphere against Chelsea, it was good. The first half, it was pretty dreadful, I, I can admit. Second half, it was as good as it ever has been. But look, it, it's just the wrong time. And let's get into what I think of the comment itself, what I think we can do to sort of sort of the atmosphere. But where I do think Mur Murdad Gadusi got it wrong as well, because I think he very, very so much did. Let's get into it. Now let's take a look at the actual comment what Murdad Gadusi said on X Twitter, whatever you want to call it, last night. He said after Newcastle United won 4 1 against Chelsea, the post did Newcastle themselves posted a, a dressing room for as we always do with all the lads in the dressing room. Murdad Gadusi then quoted the tweet saying, What a team. We need to give these guys more support in the stadium. We need to be louder. We need to be the 12th man. Look, straight off the bat, I agree with him. The atmosphere recently, it hasn't been great whatsoever. It's my third year having a season ticket now, and it's one of where well, I see it, it's only three years I've had this season ticket but this year it's not been great whatsoever in certain games though like Chelsea it was absolutely fine the rest of them Dortmund at home in the Champions League that was terrible Crystal Palace it was terrible look it's good that he's calling it out someone that's such uh, up in the hierarchy of Newcastle United it's good that he's calling it out but after we've just won 4-1 against Chelsea I don't believe it's the right moment to pick out from him but it, it, it is needing to be criticised in some moments but just against Chelsea not for me not for me at all we'll take a look at what some people's kind of responded to this comment because there's a fair few that do kind of blame it on Murdad Caduce and the owners themselves they feel like they've been let down because it's kind of a we told you so moment and we're going to take a look into why they feel like that now let's just take a look at some of these support um, comments somebody said and I'm not going to quote any of these people's names just in case they don't want it but somebody said uncapped memberships equals tout in paradise sort that and you get you will get your atmosphere back there's one thousands of tickets on sale at livefootballtickets.com for every single home match and they are genuine tickets now look that is a very very big slip up by the club it, it is sort of, if, if you do have unlimited memberships, these people are getting a ticket and they're just going to sell it for 150 quid profit. It's going to anyone and everyone. Now look, I'm not one of these people that gatekeep the fan base. I, we're going to be a global club. We're going to be one of the biggest clubs in the world. We've got all the money. We've got the passion. We've got the d determination. We've got the players. We've got the manager. We've got the backroom staff. We are going to be an absolutely monumental club. One of the biggest clubs in the world who is going to win a Champions League in the next 15 years, undoubtedly. So... When we come this big of a club, of course we're going to get fans from all over the world. We can't sort of gatekeep it just being Newcastle United fans, especially when we'll have stuff like a stadium expansion. These people are going to come and we can't do nothing about it. And it would be kind of unfair to just say, well, you're not from Newcastle, you can't come here. They do kind of have to experience it as well. Let's be real, we are a fan base. But at the same time, it does make our atmosphere drop, which, look, when you cast the United fans, we've got the best fans in England, the loudest, the proudest, we we'll travel the furthest, we we'll make our voices heard every single place we we'll go, we we'll can't let that slip. And me being a Newcastle United fan for such a long time, going in these away ends before the takeover, watching the absolute dross of football, just being there for, for a drink with me mates, and just enjoying the atmosphere, we we'll can't let that slip. When you cast the United, we're renowned for having fantastic fans, I don't want that to slip, and people are coming to the ground saying, where's your famous atmosphere look it, it is draining a lot but hopefully it can get back to the best but yeah like I said these these people are feeling quite let down by the one as uh, Jamie Rubin also left a comment on the Murdad Caduce post saying what a team yes we need to match the intensity of the players with our support it's something we've done for years and years and then but look it's we did tell the ownership group if you're just going to make these unlimited uh, memberships and also certain things which personally I don't agree with some of the things what people have said but we gave you the reasons what would let the atmosphere slip you've went ahead with it and now you're complaining about the atmosphere slip and look uh, you you are the ownership you all agreed to the unlimited membership you all agreed to the ballot whatever I'm not really complaining about that other people are but not myself personally um you agreed to having that stuff even though we told you but you can't really Put it on the back of Newcastle fans. Look, I'm not having to go with them because I couldn't be more grateful for them. I mean, I'm as grateful as grateful for them as I am for anyone. Look, they've changed our lives, never mind with football teams. It's unbelievable, but it is kind of a we told you so moment. Now, we're going to read some more comments of what people have said. This is on their perspective of the actual situation itself and one comment in itself. Getting nearly a thousand likes and 
I tell you what, many, many people have agreed with it, so let's get into a few of them. Some people said, bring back the old ticketing system. Many, that's that's been one of the most major things with Newcastle United, just for away tickets in general. I mean, our away ends at the minute, it, it they don't seem too bad as the home atmosphere has, but we, as, as much as the home atmosphere, people can come there, whatever, it's a 50,000 seat stadium, but the away ends, that needs to be the most bouncing, passionate away end in the whole of England, as it always has been with Newcastle United. We need to make sure that they are on absolute point because it's it's something which we've cherished for a very long time. When the football's been dross, the fans have, have lived up to the expectation, as they always have. That's why we've got a very, very good name to opposition fans who aren't so bitter about us. But anyways, a couple of people, and I can say this from my own personal experience, there's been a lot of Chelsea fans in the Newcastle end yesterday and there's been a lot of actual opposition fans in the Newcastle end. I've seen one of Liverpool's fans in Newcastle end when we played them at St James's Park but someone here saying six Chelsea fans sat in front of us today at the Leases. How can that happen? Ticketing is the only thing you've got wrong so far. Home and away, digital. The whole thing is destroying the atmosphere. Home and away. PS, we'll love you still. Great point there. Look, it's 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 not great if Chelsea fans are getting the home end, is it? I mean, there's I've seen... Genuinely, with my own eyes, I've seen fans get attacked. Or, uh, it's away fans get attacked by Newcastle fans. It just it causes problems. It causes Newcastle fans a bad name. Why would you want to rile up your own fans? They need to do something to protect that part of it. That's just my opinion. I don't know if you agree, but we'll read some more. This comment, like I say, got nine hundred and two likes. Just of a reply on Murdad Gadusi's uh, comment. It wasn't a post. Genuinely, nine hundred and two likes on the actual comment itself. He said. Tons of tourists around me today. Sort that out and you might get your atmosphere back. Look, yet again, I'm just going to revert back to that. We are going to get these tourists, if you want to call them that. I wouldn't label them as that. I mean, they are fans. It doesn't matter if they haven't travelled as far as they are. They're still Newcastle United fans. They've put the money into the club. But I just hope they haven't done it by football ticket and websites. That's one of the things I absolutely hate. I hate these football ticket and websites. You're pricing local fans out of something which would normally be 20 quid. And they're going for 150 quid. Actually, there's, there's a post here. And for the, the Man United game itself, there's a ticket in the Leaser stand for £294. My season ticket costs less than that. I mean, that is disgraceful. How... People, and it's only started since we've been took over, of course. These people, I'm guessing, are getting the membership and just selling it for nearly 300 quid. It's it's shocking. How should a football ticket for Newcastle United, when I used to buy, I know it's in the AFL Cup, but I'm just using it for an example. We got beat by Burnley in the AFL Cup a very long time ago. I think it was in the second round. They beat us on penalties at home. That ticket cost me £5 about three, four years ago. Now it's £300 for a ticket against Man United. I know it's Premier League, I know it's Man United, but that doesn't justify it whatsoever. It's, people can complain about tourists and, and all that sort of stuff in the atmosphere, but the, the ticket and prices are absolutely... That's the worst thing for me. Charging fans and outpricing fans, which would normally be coming to the games who don't have the financial backing, shouldn't be having to pay 300 quid for a ticket. It's unbelievable. And the cheapest one on that photo there is a £220. It's, it's unbelievable. But anyways, all in all, look, respect to Murdad Gadusi for calling it out because, yeah, the game we're on your Castle United fans, renowned for the best fans in England. We need to keep that reputation up. He's done the right thing by calling it out, but on his part, it's just a bit of wrong time, isn't it? Maybe call it out after the Palace game because the Chelsea in the second half, it was pretty good. First off, I can't lie, it was pretty dreadful. And I know an atmosphere from an atmosphere, and that first off was pretty bad. I was sitting next to my dad, he said the same. Uh, what's this atmosphere? No one's singing. Chelsea, Chelsea fans were taking the mick out of authority. It wasn't great, but second off, of course, when we scored, we switched on, as you'd expect fans to when they score. But anyways, that's what we'll have. And if you have any sort of suggestions of what you would do to sort of improve the atmosphere, because it may need a little bit of improvement. When we play the teams like, respectively, Bournemouth, uh, Luton, Sheffield United at home, the atmosphere is going to drop rather than a Man United. And I expect that atmosphere to be absolutely bouncing. Please, if you're a Newcastle fan, sing your heart out for that one because it's Man United. We'll absolutely batter them. 8pm under the lights at St. James's Park. I think we can give them everything. We'll absolutely run them off the park, as anyhow would say. I think that's all three points for Newcastle. But anyways, thank you very much for watching the video. If you did enjoy my analysis or my sort of points across this video, smash a like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you maybe... Past six o'clock, I'll do a live stream for the instant, well not instant, sorry, I mean it's the next day, a match recap of the Chelsea game, because I've got a lot to talk about, which I didn't yesterday, but anyways, thank you very much for watching, I've been Jordy Josh, go and enjoy your day, people.